All right, today we're talking all about sound EQ and why it needs to be addressed by the CDL next season. So if you've been living under a rock and don't know what sound EQ is and the effect it has on Call of Duty, what it is is it's basically a window setting that you can turn on and it basically increases uh, the sounds that are quiet on your computer, so like enemy footsteps, and decreases the sound of really loud sounds like explosions or gunshots. So this was really abused because footsteps were not silent. Uh, you can hear enemies basically across the map, and this is not even an exaggeration. You know, there were times where players were being heard, you know, three rooms away basically in a search, and it was just so detrimental for the viewing experience and the playing experience. So obviously the only reason why this was a big factor was because footsteps were not completely muted, and that's just the biggest problem for us right now uh, as a league. So hopefully in MW3, footsteps are completely silent, and when I say completely silent, I mean 100%. Like, even if it's 90%, uh, if you use the boosting of the sound EQ, you could still probably hear players' footsteps. Uh, so we really need it to be 100%. And I really hope there's a perk that will completely mute uh, my footsteps when I'm playing. So the biggest reason why people complained about sound EQ was because you weren't able to make plays that you would normally be able to make. You know, if you're trying to make a play and slip through a gap that an enemy team was not watching or a lane that they were not covering, you know, as a playmaker, you want to expose the gap that they had. But unfortunately, with footsteps not being silent and sound EQ, players on the other team could instantly just hear out whatever play you're making because they had their headsets turned up. Now, this just promotes more boring gameplay because you're not going to be seeing as many plays being made by players because they know if they try and make that play, they'll just be heard by the enemy. And it's just really unfortunate because you do want to see people making as many plays as possible because that's what gets everyone excited. You know, you do want to reward players for making plays like that where they might be slipping a gap or going through an enemy setup and use the timings and their game knowledge in any situation to make plays that they think they can make based on the information that they have. So not only is sound EQ a really big problem in search, it's also a really big problem in respawn. You know, if you're trying to make plays in respawn, it's the same thing. And usually it's harder to hear the enemy footsteps because of all the action that's going on in respawn. But here with sound EQ, where it's limiting those other noises, you know, it's just as big of a problem. And it's really just hurting the gameplay of everyone because you're just relying on your headset and it's just super easy to read out plays that you probably wouldn't have before if you didn't have your headset cranked. So to talk about sound EQ and how it was dealt with this year, you know, it wasn't really a big thing until maybe, I wanna say major two or, or just after major two. So there could have been teams that were using major one and major two, but after that second major, people really caught on to what it actually could be and the league started to check for it on land. But unfortunately online, there was just no way for them to check constantly after every map. Uh, that a player was not using it. So teams completely abused it online this year. And then going into tournaments, uh, they turned it off obviously because the league would turn it off on the main stage setups and then have a ref that would constantly be checking to see uh, whether a player would actually tab out into those settings. So there were steps being made, but for all of the online matches, there were no steps being taken. So it was basically the Wild West at that point. So the easiest fix for all of this obviously is just muting the footsteps. And if the developer isn't willing to do that for us, I don't really know where we stand because there's no way currently for the CEO and for just the developer themselves to toggle a person's window settings like that. So it just really needs to be addressed and not just this year, but every year afterwards, because you know, this is something that's a window setting. So it's gonna constantly stay in our game uh, as long as we are playing on a PC. And for me, this is not only just at the pro play level, you know, this is really hurting the game at a grassroots level. Whether you're playing game battles or wagers or S&D tournaments, you know, these were areas that people would really grind to get their name out there. So for any future aspiring pro, you know, those opportunities are very limited as long as, you know, hacking and sound EQ are both a thing. Because as long as these are abused, it's really just discouraging to any future pro player to try and get their name out there like that. And you even see problems at the challenger system. So even if you're just talking about the amateurs, you know, any future aspiring pro is dealing with these problems. And if players like this or keep getting discouraged from playing, you know, that's just going to lower the player base and lower any potential pro players that might be trying to get into the league. And if we're not even talking about the lower level of amateur gaming, you know, even for rank play, this is being abused, whether it's hacking or whether it's sound EQ, you know, these are really big problems, especially if you're trying to really branch out and get as many people as possible playing these game modes. You know, as long as they keep getting heard, you know, through walls, rooms away, it's going to be discouraging for any type of player to try and rise through these ranks up to the top. So if we want to grow as a scene, as a competitive scene, you know, with amateurs, with the rank play kids, with pro players, we need to get support from the developers, whether it's getting that perk 
or just completely muting footsteps altogether in the audio settings. Or if the developer chooses to keep it in the game, you know, we need to have the support from the league to constantly have these types of checks, whether it's online or in matches. You know, even if you threaten teams that you're gonna do a random check after, you know, the first or second map, this will bring down the percentage of players that are actually using sound EQ from probably let's say 95% to at least, you know, 10% or probably even lower. I bet you no one would actually be taking uh, that chance to get DQ'd or banned by actually using sound EQ in that case. So for the benefit of the league and the benefit of the game as a whole and our community as a whole, these steps need to be taken and we need to be addressing these issues because the worst thing that can happen is that we just discourage everyone from playing, you know, the competitive level because of these things that shouldn't even be in the game in the first place. You know, and I'm not even talking about hacking at this point. Hacking is a whole nother thing where it should be addressed just the same way, but it needs to be on the developer side, obviously. Uh, Sound EQ is specifically for the competitive side uh, and this needs to be addressed specifically for next year and for every year going forward. So thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.